I'm not sure how bees feel about orange, so hopefully not aggressive. <laughs> The little, little stuff is all Veromite. Her Majesty herself, which is pretty awesome. That's a special day. Yes. Hey everyone. We are back with our bees here and with the dryads. And if you saw the last video, we had treated um, all the hives with formic acid, a brand called formic pro. And we're here to see what the results are as well as uh, give the second treatment because I do a 28 day treatment. So you get inside of Formic Pro, you get two uh, packets, two patties of Formic Acid and you can choose to do both patties at once or you can choose to put one patty on and wait 14 days, 14 days and then come back and put a second patty on and that's another 14 days. So that's the 28 day treatment. That's what I prefer. Uh, especially with the heat that we have and the humidity that we have here in North Carolina. Um, it's still effective and it's much less of a risk to the queen and the brood and the rest of the bees. And also today I have an observer. This is Caleb. Say hi Caleb. Hi, hi people. <laughs> and he is a young beekeeper just learning the ropes. This is his first year and so he's joining me on the adventure over here at my hives to hope to learn a little bit more. All right, so here we go. Let's see what the results are. All right, so I've got the boxes off of the dryads. I've got two mediums down here. And they're decently 50% full of honey. So now we're gonna pull out only as many frames as it takes to find the queen herself or evidence of her. So I always pull the frames away from the frame it was next to uh, just in case they happen to have built a queen cell up on the frame itself or if they have built a supersedure cell on the comb. Right now I don't like the condition of these guys. They're way too empty. We should be getting to brood. If I can get the sun to cooperate. I have shiny uh, cells at the bottom of the cells. It's nice and shiny. So that's evidence of a queen. It's not huge evidence, but it's some evidence. All right, we have some capped brood. It is a bit spotty. We have some nectar. There's a drone. Oh, there we go. We have larva. And that's going to be hard to see. We have eggs right up in this corner. That means the queen is still around. Okay, I don't know if you're able to get the angle or not on this. It is not easy. Um, the eggs and larva are right in this area. Okay. So if you've got it on the zoomed in mode, Can you see eggs? Trying to find. Find my hive tool. Yep. Okay, they should be in there somewhere. Okay, let's see if I can find the right one. So the queen is in here. We got a whole bunch of eggs. So she is doing just fine. Okay. So that is a wonderful thing. I do not need to inspect them any further once I find evidence of the queen. And eggs are pretty solid evidence. So now we are just going to put everybody back and 
take care of the formic acid treatment. Uh, another thing I'll say about this hive is I don't like how they have their honey up just in the top medium um, this time of year. In fact, last inspection, they had more. Um, so I think they've used it up and need to be fed to help them uh, get a little stronger for the winter. I have here, um, it's an oil tray bottom board. So this you can just pull in and out. Um, I really, really like this design because anything that falls through the bottom of the hive will die. So I don't have to worry about small hive beetles um, and other things that we don't like to have in our hives. So right, let me find my finger. So right there, pretty sure that's a small hive beetle larva. There's a small hive beetle right there next to it. And as you can see, a lot of this tiny stuff, the little, little stuff is all veromite. Yep, now you can really see them. It's all veromite. This hive was seriously infested and on dangerous levels. It was over 10%. So we're taking care of that today. If you like that oil tray setup, you can go to greenbeehives.com. I'll put a link down in the video and uh, where I got this from. I think they're based in Alabama or Georgia. I can't remember, but I, I really love that setup a lot. I don't have to worry about putting in small hive beetle traps throughout the hive and the frames and trying to deal with that. This is just easier. All I have to do is dump that and it keeps it real nice and handy. And I can also assess what's going on inside my hive without actually having to go in my hive. So when you're using formic acid, this brand is called Formic Pro. Um, make sure you at least wear one glove to handle the stuff with. I'm not sure how bees feel about orange, so hopefully not aggressive. I'm gonna put this glove on and then I'm gonna cut this open and this will be the last treatment that they'll have. Have tools good for everything. Oh, and make sure you stand upwind from this stuff. So note the wind direction because you do not want to inhale this stuff. It is not good for you. You're not gonna die if you inhale it, but. You definitely probably start coughing. So what I do, because sometimes it's inevitable, I will inhale some of it. Um, I just hold my breath until I can move my face into another direction, or I can get away from this stuff. So. I say, this really doesn't want to open. All right, we got it. All right, so this is what a formic pro or formic acid looks like in patty form. Uh, we are just gonna very gently and slowly because the hive will just make a whole bunch of noise. I kind of just try to give them warning. Mm. Try to make sure all the bees are kind of out of the way before I lay it all the way down on them. I'm going to move this out of the way. So we don't smell it. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Oh, let's say propolis. All right, so they're good. I'm gonna leave that for another 14 days. And that will be coming close to the last inspection that I will do because the weather is getting colder. So these girls are doing all right. So we're going to put the inner cover on them and then we'll take this. I still want to feed them a little bit, I think, because they just don't have much in the deep at all.
guys. Come over here, Caleb. Okay. On this side. This is where the sunlight is. All right, we get to see a treat. I can't see where is she? You gotta, are you zoomed out so you can see the whole frame? Yeah. All right, so we're playing Find the Queen. Unless she happened to crawl down to the bottom medium, and now, then I won't find her. Find the queen. She was just here. Let's see if she's on the other side. Yep. Can you find the queen? She's right there. There's the queen. And this is Beta. Wait. I'm going to where she got. There she is. Right there. Get a nice close in on her. Remember, you can zoom in. Uh-huh. Oh, you already are zooming. Yeah. Okay, good. Isn't she beautiful? They're crawling around. All right, let's see if we can get some egg pictures. I'll do it on this side. All right, let me see the camera. Let's see if we can see some eggs. So we've got larva in here. You saw that white? That's larva about to be capped. And then we should be able to see some eggs in these other cells. Yeah, I see at least one. It's kind of hard to see in the camera right now because the sunlight's shining on it. But there's my evidence not only of the queen being around, but we actually saw her majesty herself, which is pretty awesome. That's a special day.